On today's episode of Watch J Argo, we take the tracker from a single CD player and two little tiny speakers to an entire system. What is going on guys? I'm Watch J Argo and today I'm here with Gabe. We're in his garage. Amberghini's on her way over and we've got her tracker here. And look at this, this thing is completely full of boxes. We've got, uh, honestly, let's just do an unboxing. This seems like fun. Well, let's get after it. I filled the whole tracker with boxes of stuff. Ugh. Oh man, this one's heavy. I can't just fling this one at you. There we go. All right. I don't know how I'm supposed to use this knife. <laughs> Woo-wee! Four boxes. How excited are you about these boxes? Here, Rockford Prime. Nice. Here's a 12 gauge amplifier wiring kit. That is just for the head unit. Love Here it. is the head unit. Alpine ILX. They give you a little bow. W650. Here is the amp install kit. Here, that, that needs a knife. That needs a knife. Here is the Alpine KTA 450 Power Pack Amp. Now you need another knife. I do I? You need another. This is that reinforced tape. Here, get you another. Yeah, hey, try this one. That's fancy. Okay. This reinforced tape is literally garbage, but this is like shearing the cardboard into pieces. Ooh, more boxes! Boxes on boxes! Got a knife? I have a knife. Man, I think it's sharp! Yeah. Look at that. Here, let me give you that. I got that. We got this roll of Be Quiet. And another... Here, I, we just have so many rolls. Another roll of Be Quiet. You and work. here's a roller to install the Be Quiet. Is a roller? And speaking of Be Quiet, I have to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Be Quiet. They sent us everything in their lineup to do this build and sponsor this video. So, we've got a roll of Ultimate, we've got a roll of V-Comp, we've got a roll of H-Liner, we've got a roller to install it, and Gabe has samples here because he used Be Quiet when he did his Opal, so. That's right, the first time that I actually did my Opal, it yep. was stinking loud. It was seriously 80 decibels. Can't even talk over it while no, you're driving. You so I ordered very much the same setup that you had. This was several years ago. Yep. And it lowered it by 40 decibels. That's awesome. It is. Yeah, and I remember that car, would, it just drove so great. And it actually sounded really solid. Yes. Because it had all that sound dampening material in it, I think. Yeah, it, it makes it, great. it really like makes them feel like a new car. Yes, it does. So I'm really excited to get all of this open and see what we're gonna end up with. You have a, do you have a knife? I do have a knife. Here, let's, uh, I, I'll let you wield the sword no. then. All right. And <laughs> pulling on the blade. That seems fine. Yeah. All right. We I'm got sure the. This is the foam liner here. Nice. That is beautiful, it is. and it's uh, heat reflective, so you can use this under your hood. Correct. Anyway, thank you so much to Be Quiet for sponsoring this video. Head on over to b-quiet.com. Use code WatchChair. Go for five percent off your entire order. And uh, let's get to work on this tracker. It's gonna be legit once all of this is installed. Indeed. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Help you help her. That stuff's gonna be awesome. Let's do this part too. Okay. <laughs> it's supposed to look impressive and it just failed. It looks so much easier on WWE. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Dude. I like that. I mean, I was expecting it to be really heavy when we picked it up. So is it, uh, is it MDF or composite? Or? I don't know, but it's powered, and that's what matters. Sweet. I've been excited to see this, too. I am, too. Alpine answered everyone's dreams here. And they gave us a double-din receiver that's only two inches deep and a special amplifier that mounts on the back and handles all of the amplification. That is gorgeous. And this has an amp in it too. Like you could use the built-in amp or, here you go, give what? me that. Yep. Or you can step it up with the KTA 450 here. Well, I mean. Of course we're gonna step it up. Of course. There's, 
This is the amp. Oh my gosh. All right, what do we have here? This is really cool. So this is Bluetooth and... Oh, so. everything. CarPlay, Bluetooth, all, all the sauce that you want. Nice. That looks like it goes like that. Four screws go in there. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's got little tabs. I like that. I mean, what, what does the, the tracker's audio sound like right now? Right now it has that single den Pioneer head unit that's literally just laying in there in a mess. So, so it also has, and singing, uh, it does have uh, three inch infinity capos in the dash, which we are going to leave. So I wanted to do one brand, but it's, they don't make those infinities anymore. Those infinities are nice. Yeah. So you kind of got to stay with those, but these are going to be awesome. Little tweeters, six and a half, pretty good six and a half. They're the primes. Should Beautiful. be good. Yeah. So you take the three millimeter hex head machine screws here. Put them into the bracket like this. This goes together so nicely. Probably one of the coolest, like most integrated kits I've ever seen. And I wanted to keep it really simple because the tracker is really simple and I don't want to be like throwing amps in the back. I want the uh, sub box can come out in like five minutes because it has a quick disconnect for power. Everything on this will come apart in just minutes. I guess it could go in. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. Yeah, however you want it. However you want it. Because it does How have do you want it? Opening there. Okay, hooking up the power pack to the uh, preamp outs on the Alpine head unit here. Let's see. Purple is rear right, so that would be red. And green is rear left, which would be white. And gray is front right, which is that one right there, and that one right there. And there is our signal chain into the amp. Here's our outputs from the amp. Here is our power into the amp. Here is our remote turn on, which is awesome because it integrates directly into the Alpine one. You can see we've got the uh, remote turn on. It just plugs in. That's so cool. And then you still have an extra remote out to run to your amp in the back. So that'll be the powered subs remote wire there. And uh, yeah, we are on track. I'm ready to start plugging things in and doing some wiring. Also, we get to tie off all of the speaker wires coming out of the head unit, which uh, makes life really simple once you remove that many wires from the bundle here. So I will like go like that, zip tie them and then tape them off and we will never speak of those again. Then we will plug in the power connector here and we will plug in the preamp output here. And the only other thing that's gonna be fun to hook up is the mic input, but we're gonna to have to find a way to do that with it all together because that goes on basically last. Gabe, you stripping the interior already? Oh, I'm just getting the stuff out. Thanks. No problem. I think we can actually shove all of this preamp wiring up inside here once it's done. We'll just nicely fold it onto itself, put it in the back. And this setup is nice and clean, very small, tons of power. It's gonna rock, and I'm pumped. I'm so excited. Are you? <laughs> you are equally pumped? Plus I think that's gonna look really good in there. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, let's get the top off of this guy. Oh, it's got a little uh, catch lever here too. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, it does. You can stand it up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We can work around that. That'll work. Yeah. All right. So we went ahead and got Crutchfield's 12 gauge amp install kit because this power pack needs a lot of power. Got a nice ground wire, tons of power for the head unit and the amp, some uh, split tubing, and uh, let's get to work on this. First, I got brand new battery terminals too. We're gonna put those on the front. So we have tons of extra little spots that we can uh, grab power from for the amp and the other amp. Rockford's amp install kit, eight gauge. This thing doesn't need too much power. But it does use a little bit, so we're going to do, oh, look at that. It's got the little slits on the blister pack, so I don't have to uh, destroy my hands accidentally, like, cutting them open with this plastic. Ah! I wish everything came with that. Right? Here is all the wiring for the Rockford powered sub. It's, uh, got the wire for the remote base control, the power block that plugs into the side, really nice, quick disconnect. I do have to get rid of that weird satellite radio or, or uh, GPS antenna that's just shown in there. We have no idea what that goes to. I have a knife. I've got a knife. I've got a knife for that. Uh, I did use these Install Gear 024 gauge battery terminals. That is what's going on. 
So we'll have lots and lots of places to hook up all of this. These are from Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description below. Those terminals are trash and this gives us a good opportunity to clean them and get us a nice base to work from here. All right, there's our negative. Get me some negative. We're probably just gonna have to cut these and shove them into the new terminal. The positive terminal coming off too. We are gonna have to get the corrosion cleaned off there. That is absolutely nasty. And we'll probably just end up cutting those right there and right there, cleaning up the copper, or I could maybe even pull the terminal off of the copper. Looks like that might be possible. And uh, then we can put all these nice new ones on, go to town. These are so pretty. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Making the seat removal look easy here, Gabe. Well, it is. It's moving right along. Wait, everything goes easier with power. That's true. Once this carpet's out, I think we're gonna grab the high pressure washer and spray the crap out of it because it is just nasty. Oh, look at that. Well, well, well. <laughs> that is the other end of that GPS yes. antenna. Can we easily get it out? I don't I know. So. Probably. You just pull. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to do the sloppy shifter fix today, but I don't have the parts yet. Why not? Because I just haven't picked them up yet. Look at all this nonsense we're gonna have to deal with. It's just sloppy. It is sloppy. See, I told you, zip ties were used for holding things in there. <laughs> no wonders uh, the fan won't go to high because that zip tie is in the way of the fan control. Well, we'll rectify that. We will rectify that. Oh my We're goodness. figuring everything out today. This thing's gonna rock. Wow, this is a disaster back here, man. A complete, at least the antenna's hooked up. That's something. <laughs> this oh my is gosh. A, here, let me get this. Yep. This is a rat's nest. Oh, I am going to be wiring for a half hour. Look at all those splices. Look, splices so on sad. splices. This is, this is cool. Look at, oh, look at the speaker wire. That's what's oh, holding man. it back in there. Dude. Uh, no, 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 they yes. didn't get the power from... <laughs> yes, they did. That is hilarious, dude. What is this? Oh my gosh. A receipt for jack stands. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign. So wait a second, the only speakers are those? Yes, there are no other speakers in this from the factory. Isn't that funny? And there's also only like one screw holding it in. So we're just gonna back out that one screw and then pull new wire to the speakers. These are awesome. They've got selectable uh, attenuation on the tweeters. Okay, carpet is out. Oh, you wanna see that one wire? Mm, which one? The one that's actually just... No. So this guy took the wire and just took the fuse, you know, stripped the wire a bit, bent it over the fuse prong sure. and then of course. Stuck it back on the fuse. Yeah, I mean, everyone's seen that. It's pretty common. It's a fusible link, right? That's <laughs> As long as the wire burns up, it's a fusible link. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even started cleaning for real. We're going to take alcohol, wipe down everything before we try to adhere the be quiet to the floors here. But, uh, I mean, so far, it's looking really good. Also, we found out the car is pre-wired for rear speakers, even though it doesn't have factory ones. Wiring is through the firewall. Check this out. We've got the fuse holders mounted and uh, there's our wire ready to go into the connector. There's our grommet through the firewall. It's all done super well. We've got tons and tons of wire inside. Amber went and picked us up some Freddy's, so it's time for a quick lunch break. I'm so excited. There's so much delicious food here. What's up, Wolf? There's a fry for you if you want. Get the fry. Get it. It's right there. The remote wire is tied to the ignition switch wire everything in here is destroyed luckily we can pull out the main power wire that's just shoved in a fuse because we're we've got brand new power wire right there oh are these our little lights these are the little lights that were under the dash and they're all just so jankly wired it's just everything about this there's is... only like one strip of them that was under the passenger side that worked yeah this is just so sad let's get this junk power wire out of the fuse block now it's bad it's really bad guys Probably one of the worst I've ever seen. So, we're getting it sorted though. These must be factory speaker wires that were never hooked up to anything as, as far as I can tell. So I'll just go ahead and cut these. 
I think we're gonna pull all new speaker wire today. So this means we've about got the harness out. One of these speakers has like lamp cord and the other one was on a factory harness. It's just, here's the lamp cord that goes on the driver's side. I'm gonna be in here cutting for a little bit and then hopefully I'll get a good little diagram worked out in my head and uh, we'll get all the factory harness taped back up and taken care of. And we'll just keep right on chugging. Gabe just wiped down the entire back with acetone so we're ready to start installing the Be Quiet everywhere. The battery terminals are on. Come, come check out the battery terminals. They're, they are awesome. They are pretty. Yes, they are. We've got all the wire through the firewall. I cut out the old security system because we're gonna do a brand new security system, but check that out. No more acid, batteries cleaned up, fuses are all mounted to the firewall. Everything is good to go. I love how the little fuse block looks there. That's nice. Yep, one for the head unit and one for the big amp in the back. So. We went ahead and connected it all now because uh, I had to do a bunch of testing, so we had to have our negative on there. Amber and Gabe have been grinding away for a long time, and this thing looks brand new inside now, which is just mind blowing. They just washed like the entire floor with water before, yeah, before going back through with acetone, which is gonna be absolutely mind blowing. All the powers ran, I'm almost done. Uh, running through all my wires on the harness there with the meter and the head unit is working, so that's awesome. Uh, it's time to start laying in this uh, Be Quiet, which is gonna be amazing. Can't wait for that. Then we're ready to actually shove that guy in the dash and get to work. I'm gonna go grab some speaker wire because I want nice speaker wire running to all the speakers. Uh, we're putting 12 gauge everywhere. And uh, yeah, we should be about wrapped up on that and then we can move back towards the back to hook up the subwoofer, which is like a 10 second job, honestly. We are in the home stretch now. Gabe's over here at the table saw, chopping up the uh, little mounts for the six and a halfs that are gonna go in the back. Oh man, making sure that rip fence is perfectly square. Yep. I like it. No mistakes. <laughs> no mistakes. <laughs> One shot. Yeah. <laughs> and over here in the car, I mean, a lot of this is done. We are finishing up just little things at this point. We've already uh, done a quick test. All of our power is good. Our speaker wire is being terminated right now. These speakers are back in, the Infinity References. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned those speakers up and we put gold-plated terminals on them. I know, nonsense, but hey, why not? And then over here, oh, there's another one of those references. And uh, the front tweeters are set to the zero dB uh, setting there on the attenuation so that we don't have too much trouble hitting that super hard surface that is the glass. I want the base coming back in my face, don't need that much trouble. And of course, there I am pulling in more of our speaker wire. Oh yeah, we took the parking brake apart and painted it <laughs> after it was, Gabe cleaned it up. I painted it. We've got the uh, the switch is going back on. It's gonna look great. Yep. It's uh, we, we just went hard. Yeah, man. Took this whole thing back to factory spec today. And then some. And then some. I mean, gold-plated uh, terminals. So. Gold-plated terminals. Just way over the top here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've uh, kept you guys out of the minutia here, and we've just been working away. But I ran all of the wiring to the back. The entire system runs through a factory grommet into the side, up into the fender. Everything is zip tied together all the way through the fenders here. So it's uh, any excess is like coiled and will be zip tied off. Speaker wires are in, ready for their brackets. And uh, our ground has been like, we took some paint off of our ground here. We've got a nice solid ground. Subwoofer is ready to just click in. Those two connectors are all it requires, which is awesome. Take a look. The wiring's basically done. Gabe's got the templates all done, finishing up the MDF pieces right now. The speakers are about to go in. The Be Quiet is about to go in. Right before we put in the MDF, we're gonna do the inside of the fenders on each side, do the doors, do everything's going down. We are not far from that. We just wanted to have all of the uh, the bones of the operation complete first. So, yep, rocking and rolling here. <laughs> Turns out I didn't have the right dash kit because I just grabbed a random one. So O'Reilly's was able to source one and they're gonna have it in the next minutes, right now probably? Yeah, should be here any time. Yeah, 30 minutes. So uh, we're almost to dash kit and I can do a final install of the uh, head unit and start reassembling the dash because all the speaker wires are ran, so we're good to go. Nice. 
Gabe's throwing some tweeter holes in here. Those look pretty cool. Tweet, tweet. And I just got back from O'Reilly's where we picked up the uh, Metra install kit for the tracker. I hope hope it fits. I guess we're gonna cut this open and see what's up. Hope it's not like the amp. Hope it's not like, all right. <laughs> so bad news guys, mid build here, the powered Rockford sub is DOA. As DOA as it gets, we tried everything. I took the low level inputs, I hooked them directly up to my phone. And uh, of course this stuff all works great. Power, remote, all that stuff's perfect. And uh, the thing lit up and I hooked, uh, tried the head unit, turned on the sub out, turned up the gain all the way on the head unit, nothing. Swept the gain into max, nothing. Hooked my phone up, turned the phone all the way up, nothing. So that sub is dead. Pulled the sub out, checked all the wiring, it's just done. So I called Crutchfield and they are shipping me another one right now. And uh, I guess we gotta wait to make base. Kinda sad about that. And then, be quiet. Be quiet, the main event. The main event. <laughs> hey, the head unit is all wired other than the back speakers at this point because we're still pulling in that last wire over there. Yay. Everything's good over here. All of this is good. Gabe is throwing down the be quiet ultimate right now, which looks awesome. Going halfway up the tunnel with it and all, huh? Yeah, man. The other thing I forgot is the park and brake bypass. I need to overnight one of those on Amazon. Uh, I guess we're not gonna put back all the plastic today because I do need to get that park and brake bypass in here. Actually, because it just looks so good. I know, it's super clean in here now, which is just incredible. Now, it is time for us to actually do some work or something, right? Um, is that, I mean, I suppose. Is that what, what time it is? We, we could. Can we actually get where you're sitting real quick after you get done? With? Yes, you can. We are going to lay in this Be Quiet Ultimate. And uh, wow, it's a lot flimsier once you pull the backer. You have to actually like. Don't yeah. let that fool you. It's probably stuck immediately. Yeah. I was going to tell you, it's, you don't want to pull the whole backer. Yes. I kind of thought that you might not want to pull the full backer at once, but it was too late. I was already there. You ever you ever said something and immediately, you know, as the words are leaving your mouth, you're like, no. Yeah. No. That, that was the reaction I just saw when you... Oh, yeah, there. I got it. Nice. I got it. I got it. All right, so get those valleys first and yeah. then work on the peaks. Yep. It's late now. It's midnight. What time? We started 
12 hours ago probably. Well, I have been to work and back. Yes. So. <laughs> we, uh, we've been working on this for a while, but it's all together for the most part. Uh, Gabe's just throwing this last speaker grill on. We just finished mounting that speaker and tweeter and the MDF and everything. It rocks, it sounds so good. Door panels are done. You can see that we've got Be Quiet Ultimate all up inside the doors and it's all been rolled in. I need to start putting this door panel on. I already put that door panel on. Once that one got Ultimate put in, the whole car is covered in Ultimate. We had so much that we just went for the Ultimate. It's really good stuff and it makes your life easy. Uh, we are saving this stuff here. This will probably go under the hood, reflect some heat, help the hood shut up a little bit. And we might save the V-comp there to do the tunnel. I, I mean, obviously that's, that's our game plan, but we can't put the tunnel together yet until I finish up the last couple things, which is uh, waiting for the parking brake little trickery thing from Amazon. I'll put links in the description below for the entire system, the parking brake trick, and uh, yeah, moving right along. Too bad our sub was DOA, uh, but we're ready to reassemble the whole car. We just don't have any carpet. Oh, that grill looks awesome. Dude, it looks sweet. <laughs> I love it. We could just uh, leave it like this without the carpet. See, that's what I was saying. Right, right like but this stuff's stuff. actually really slippery, and when you hop in, first it gets dirty, and then you get you have to like obsessively it's clean like it. Easy to clean though. Of course, I, I drove the Opal like. <laughs> I know you did for months. I know without carpet, but uh, it just—it's so nice to have a clean. Car. I'm just gonna order the carpet <laughs> because this Wait, did car you hear? He said he's so gonna order good. the carpet. I'm gonna order the carpet. That's only taken all day to talk him out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna clean that carpet. There's no—you can't clean. No, a whole there, lot I mean, of obviously it. the carpet is trash, but uh, I was just gonna put it back for the time. Being. I mean, come on, man. There were dirty needles in the carpet. Yeah, <laughs> we got to give up on the carpet. All right. There's some weird stuff. In you guys the won. We are still gonna take some ultimate real quick and do the top of the fender wells before we put all this back. Well, covers right there, and uh, yeah, we're getting right through it. I'm excited for that grill. And the last thing to do on the head unit here before I can screw it in for the final time is uh, there is uh, some little tabs on here. I need to trim off with the Dremel, and I want to get a vacuum on there with the Dremel so that I can trim them off, and then it'll set flush, and the whole dash can go back together. It's basically done. We've been out here listening to it all night, and it it works. Yeah, yeah doesn't oh here we go it gets, it, it gets loud well it's midnight and i mean look at the system in this thing it's absolutely awesome we're uh putting all the trim back in right now uh honestly we're done putting trim in uh, until the carpet gets here the seats and everything are, we're just gonna set them in here for now not much we can do gabe wants to put one more piece in the tunnel there it's gonna look awesome yeah it is and uh there's the rockford speakers in the back six and a half component set those are all done. Head unit is basically ready to wrap up. Uh, front speakers are in, all the wiring's done. We're ready to plug in the sub as soon as the new one gets here. I think that's it for the insane system build in the tracker. All that's left after this is uh, toss some carpet in. Okay. But yeah, there's mat all over. It's inside every nook and cranny. <laughs> Everything, every door, every the tailgate up inside yeah, the in the actual what B pillar slash roll cage on this thing. I mean, everything's done in this awesome Be Quiet Ultimate. Once again, I have to give a huge thank you to Be Quiet for sending us all of this awesome sound editing material. Go hit them up, link in the description below. Check them out if you need some for your car, if you wanna stop some rattles or make your system sound better, anything like that. You can stop some energy by applying some of this. Um, any of Be Quiet's materials, they'll get the job done. Thank you so much for watching, and that is it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, and I will talk to you next time. So this well, guy actually mounts just like this, I think. Oh, that's what the zip ties are for. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about having actual bracketry. No. Zip ties. <laughs> I guess what I was trying to say well, was that the sound wait. is... Yeah. It was, it was nice. It's good. Yeah. Not to, I mean, with this custom-built MDF panels that are holding the six and a halfs and everything like that. Who built those? Gabe. Oh. I did explain all this on video. That's a cool guy. <laughs> He's, he, he must be a cool guy. Yeah. Though it's going to work out really, really well. I must meet this Gabe. Yeah.